So, today, don't ask why I'm wearing a dress. But anyways, today we are doing a slime story time. This is fake. And so, as you just heard, this is a fake story. So, let's go get on into it. Hi, my name is Adalia, and I was named after the kin, ki, the kinda, the kin, kin, kin kinda, kingdom, kin, kingdom of Adalia. I am the queen now, but this story is why I was named after. Adalia, because right now in my story, I'm just the princess. So, here's my story. It all started off with my mom naming me Adalia. And when I was four, I hated my name. I didn't understand why they named me Adalia. I thought it was such an ugly name. So then I asked my mom one day, I said, Mommy, why is my name Adalia? It's such an ugly name. And my mom said, well, because you're named after the kingdom. And I was furious. I was like, why do you name me after a stupid, crusty kingdom? I don't want to be named after a kingdom. Kingdom. I want to be named after something like grandma or something. Or great grandma or something. Like something cool. Like grandma's nickname was French Fry. Like, I want to have something cool for a nickname and a name. And then my mom said, your name, your nickname is cool. Leah. And I was like, why didn't you just name me Leah then? Just, so I, pause the story. I know her name is Adalia, and her nickname is Leah, but that's just what they like to call her. That it doesn't need to be your name, like something in your name. Your name, your nickname is Leah. And I said, then why didn't you just name me Leah? You always call me Leah, so just name me Leah. Change my name. I don't care. Just do whatever it takes to not have my name be Adalia. I hate this kingdom, I hate you, and I hate my name. The only person I liked is, or I like is daddy. And at that time, my favorite person was my dad. But soon I realized when I was 10 that my mom was my favorite. Fast forward six years. And I'm 10, and my birthday is in a month. And I'm super excited, like I am just over the moon. And I don't really care what my name is now, cause I'm mature now. Like not mature, but like, you know, don't care about stupid things like your name. And sometimes just to remind me of my grandmother, they call me French Fry sometimes, but they normally call me Leah, and only the kingdom calls me Adalia. None of the rest of the kingdom, except for my family, calls me Leah. Everybody else calls me Adalia. And it one time made me so furious that I yelled out when I was um seven. You crusty, musty, dusty, rusty rats. 
you hate me. I know it because everybody knows that the princess hates her name. And then I stormed off. But this is why I hate my dad now. So it was a month before my birthday and I was all over my mom and dad so excited. I'm like, oh my God, can you get me AirPods? Can you get me a phone finally? Can you get me this and that and this and that? And obviously they were going to take me shopping at the mall, but they always get me stuff that I want, like that I asked for. Like I asked for it. On my birthday, I have it. But then I asked for a little sibling. And my dad said, I'm going to go get some milk because we have no milk. And I ran to the fridge and said, there's a whole bottle of milk in the fridge. And my mom stood up and was like, oh, Michael, we're over. If you know what I mean by I'm going to get the milk. And I was so confused. And I was a 10-year-old. And something was happening. And I had no idea what it was. And he went to the bedroom not my bedroom, his bedroom, and got all his stuff together and stormed out of the house. So I'm super duper confused. I'm like, Mom, why did Dad just leave? And why'd you say Michael were over so madly? Because... There's this saying that you will learn about when you're older that when your dad goes to buy the milk, he's going to cheat on you. And so you know how you looked in the fridge and said that we have a whole jar of milk? Well he was cheating on me and you have a twin sister wait i do that's what i i said and she said yes i'm sorry we didn't tell you earlier we just didn't think it was right for you to meet her and i said i got really mad why didn't you think it was good for me to meet her and my mom said, because she is a horrible person, what'd she do? Huh? Did she try to hit a cat or something? Like, and she was like, oh my God, you are way out of her league. And I said, what do you mean by that, mom? Are you even my real mom? You just lied to me my whole life. And she said, yes, I am your real mom. But the reason why it's safe for you not to meet your twin sister is because she tried to murder you. And I said, well, that's too bad. I'm going to meet her. What's her name? And my mom said, she lives in other kingdom. And I said, what? My twin sister is my rival. And my mom said, yes. But she's here and wants... To talk to you. So I went to the front door and I saw my father standing there. And this girl said, Hi. And I said, Who are you? And she said, 
I'm your twin sister from the other kingdom. And I said, oh, hey, why don't you come in and I'll take you to my room. And she said, oh my God, yeah, that is a great idea. Where is it? And I said, it's up upstairs in, when we go in the elevator <coughs> and take a left or a right, it's right there. And she said, ooh, perfect, it's up an elevator. And I'm pretty sure she tried to think that in her mind or something. And I said, and I was confused. Like, I had a confused face on my face. But I didn't mind it, and I just took her upstairs. She looked so nice. But then, when we got into my room, she closed my door and turned around so angry. And she said, you took my dad from me. He was all I ever had. And I said, he's both of our dads. We're twins. And she said, I don't care if we're twins or not. You took him from me. He married my stepmom. So he was king of kings of two kin kingdoms and I was rivals with my dad when he lived here. So now you're gonna pay for it. I'm staying here for a few weeks, maybe even months. And next month, your mom is gonna love me so much that she's not gonna throw you a birthday party and she's gonna throw me a party. And I said, you are so stupid. My mom loves me. She told me that you tried to kill me. And she said, ah, what horrible lies. And I said, I can hear the sarcasm in your voice and and my mom doesn't lie. And she said, well, that's my mom too. And I said, do you think I care? She doesn't live with you. And she said, "Ugh, why do you have so good, such good points? Ugh, whatever. I'm going into the kitchen to get some Nutella, and I'm gonna leave it all over your kitchen so you get in trouble." And I said. I'm not going to get in trouble. She knows I don't go in the kitchen. And she was like, dang it. And she was like, whatever. I'm still going to go in there and mess up your kitchen. And then she's going to yell at you because she would never yell at her daughter. And I said, I'm older than you. Like an hour older than you. And she was like, well, you've been lied to your whole 10, almost 11 years of your life. We're not twins, we're just siblings. And I said, okay, I don't even care, honestly. I don't wanna be siblings with you, nor friends with you, nor wanna see you. So, can you, like, get out of my house? Especially get out of my room? And she said, okay, whatever. And she left. Like, she left the house. She wasn't staying in my house, and I'm so glad about that. And I said, 
Mom, you're not letting her stay here, right? And she said, uh, no, she's going back to her kingdom. And I said, oh, she told me that she was staying in this kingdom for a couple of months. And then next month, like, you're going to throw her a party and not me a birthday party. And she said, I told you, you don't want to meet her. And I said, okay, maybe you were right. But that doesn't mean I want, don't want to meet my sibling. And she said, you mean twin? And brought out the papers that said that she could have a child when she was 17. And it said, do you... Or would you like to sign the papers of keeping these two wonderful children? That are these two wonderful twins. And I said, oh, well, I guess she was being lied to her whole life. And I was still super confused about the whole dad thing. But... Um, five years later, and I'm 15. My birthday's tomorrow, and I have a driver's test tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I have to be up by, like, 6 and be there by 6.30. Because my turn to get drove like try to drive isn't until seven o'clock so yeah i have to wait and my birthday's tomorrow and i am so excited literally so excited and i tell my mom uh can't we just skip today and go to like tomorrow because i was so excited you don't even know how excited i was oh god okay that will be a part two bye